Yeah, it's just such a great feel when these fish come out and crash that bait. You know, what I was doing, I cast up in there, I, I was reeling it kind of slow, and then I'd pause, and that fish hit right on the pause. I mean, that's classic jerk bait fishing at its finest. Nope, he's going for under the boat. <laughs> Looking for a shadow to hide in. Yeah, he's out in the open now, he's exposed. Well, you know, that's a good point. You know, the reason he was where he was had everything to do with that stained water. Even though it's shallow and clear here, you know, he felt comfortable feeding where we where we hooked into him. I'm thinking we can get serious here much right now. Nice. There we go. Nice awesome, job. Mark. <laughs> Look at that beautiful oh, fish, Travis. Yeah. Beautiful Thank fish. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fine specimen. <laughs> so this is a Lake Superior brown trout. These are all C for Ellen strain. You can see he's missing his adipose fin. Um, this was a stocked fish, and right now these fish are being stocked over in Wisconsin. And to get to where we're at right now, this fish had to swim, you know, maybe 150 miles <laughs> down the shoreline and around the corner to get to us up here in the Keweenaw. So just beautiful. He hit that bait just perfect. So basically the knot we're tying on here is what they call a no-slip loop knot. And there's many different types of no-slip loops. The reason we're tying this no-slip loop knot is to give this bait a little extra action. Now you could easily get away with using a snap here and that allows you to change your baits relatively quickly. However, with this no-slip loop, um, what this does is it takes a little bit less weight off the nose of this bait. So it's not sitting like this in the water. It's gonna get a little more of a horizontal suspend and also, that loop allows the bait to kick side to side much more freely than if we had a snap or even just a, a standard clinch knot tied to that split ring. Um, so that's my preference for fishing these jerk baits. The only downside is that you're, you're relatively committed to fishing this bait. Um, so you wanna make sure you've got a bait you've got a little confidence in.